Hello everyone! This is your first official garden video that is not a garden tour. So I want to chat with you a little bit about birds and their importance to a garden or to an ecosystem. I am up the road that just goes next to the uh, Seven Circles Garden and I'm under that big eucalyptus tree. It's like a nice sweet little spot to sit so birds of all forms are super important to a garden or to an ecosystem. So some of the reasons why we love having birds in our garden is because they do three different things. One, they eat insects or little critters, depending if they're a predatory bird, which we'll talk about in a little bit, um, that might be harming the garden. So they protect the garden. Oh, I just realized I still have some stickers on for my daughter. So enjoy, we've got stickers. They protect the garden from predatory in, or from insects that might be harming the garden or little critters that might be harming the garden. They also um, aid in pollination. So some birds like hummingbirds will help uh, move pollen on the plants. And I'll get to that in a second too. And the third main reason why birds are super important for the garden is because they aid in seed dispersal. So the movement of seeds from one place to the next. All right, let's talk specifically about the first reason why we love them in the garden, having them to eat insects or even little critters. So our garden, the Seven Circles Garden, is what we call an organic garden, meaning I don't use any uh, pesticides I don't spray any pesticides or use any pesticides in the garden um, at all. So pesticides are chemicals, the really nasty things, that are used to kill bugs. Now unfortunately, a lot of pesticides will, yes, kill the bad bugs that are eating your crops, but will also kill the good bugs like bees and butterflies and might even kill the birds that are eating, that would normally eat the bugs. So we don't spray any nasty things in our garden. But because we don't spray nasty things, that means we get a lot of bugs in our garden, which is one, a sign of a really healthy ecosystem, but also uh, a sign that, we, yeah, we're gonna have holes in our lettuce and our tomatoes are gonna get tomato hornworms and we're gonna have to just deal with it. So one of the great things is in, instead of using pesticides, you can invite birds into your garden. So a lot of birds eat insects, right? Eat bugs. So by putting things like bird seed or even just having um, trees around a garden, which we've got lots of wonderful trees in our garden, that encourages birds to come into the garden. And then once they've made their little nest or their little home, they start going to look for food. And the best kind of food they're gonna find is gonna be things like slugs, hornworms, caterpillars, maybe even snails. Those kinds of insects that are making holes in all our food and eating all our strawberries. So instead of spraying nasty chemicals that are gonna kill the bugs, the bad bugs, and I really know bugs are bad, it's just bad for our crops. So the bad bugs, but also gonna kill the good bugs, instead of spraying that nasty stuff, we just invite birds. So that's one amazing thing that birds can do if they eat insects. Now I'm sitting under this eucalyptus tree where we have a dear barn owl friend and she is just absolutely lovely. And your next gardening video will be a video of me dissecting owl pellets. So I'm not gonna get too much into that here, but basically there are birds that eat insects and seeds and plants and there are birds that eat little critters. So our um, barn owl here, things like our, and hawks and eagles, those are all gonna be predatory birds that are gonna eat mice, lizards, snakes, rats, which aren't too big of an issue in our garden, but gophers are a big issue in our garden. The gophers burrow underground and then pop up wherever they want and decide to eat any plant they desire, even if it's a plant that we wanted to eat. So our owl friend might even be taking care of that for us and kind of 
eating those gophers. Um, the other thing that we have an issue with is our compost pile. It's wonderful, but in the winter, when the compost heats up, and you'll learn more about that in an upcoming compost video, but when our compost heats up in the cold, cold winter, guess where the best place for a mama mouse to have her baby mice are? Our compost pile. Now, I have found mice in the compost pile before, right when I was about to get my pitchfork and turn it, and what do you think I did? I left them there, of course. I could not kill the little baby mice, but that meant that I couldn't turn our compost pile and it got stinky and it got wet and it didn't really make great soil. So it wasn't, it was a good decision because I didn't kill the baby mice, but it was a bad decision for the compost. So inviting uh, predatory birds like owls or even hawks, though I don't, you can't really invite those guys in, but inviting owls with owl boxes, which are kind of like a man made like a birdhouse but for an owl they will take care of those little critters that are eating your garden all right the second reason why birds are so fantastic in the garden is that they help with pollination so in order to make a seed a plant first grows a flower and that flower attracts all different insects and some birds of all different kinds to basically get the pollen, and we all know what pollen is, that yellow stuff that makes you sneeze, gets the pollen on them, and then when they go from one flower, they get the pollen on them, they go to the next flower, they drop some of that pollen into the next flower, and they make seeds. The, the plants then make seeds from that. So bugs like bees and butterflies and flies will all make uh, we'll all do pollination, but birds also help with pollination. So things like hummingbirds are really the most that we'll see in our gardens that are helping with pollination. Now the last reason, main reason why we want birds in the garden is for seed dispersal. So a lot of times birds will come into our garden and will eat seed pods. They might pick at the um, sweet peas or they might pick at the beans or they might pick at the collard greens. They're going to eat the seeds, they don't really necessarily themselves want those seeds. So those seeds, they'll eat them, it'll pass through the digestive tract, they'll poop it out, but the seed itself will remain intact. Will get basically planted in the ground in a nice little pile of poop, which kind of sounds gross, but the poop has a lot of nutrients for the seed to grow. So just by a bird eating some seeds, pooping them out, pooping them out on the other side of the garden, we get new plants. So it's a wonderful cycle to, or thing to invite the birds in and have that seed dispersing cycle. They eat a plant here, they poop it out here, it grows here, they eat it there, they bring it back over here all throughout the year. So there's so many great reasons why we want birds in the garden. I am going to try and get some videos of the birds in the garden and we'll explain kind of what they're doing as I go through the seven circles and the butterfly garden. Here is our owl friend. You're gonna have to look really close, really carefully. She's right there. It's a barn owl friend, and she is the one that's gonna be helping eat all of our mice and our gophers. Now, she's way up in that tree, but she's pretty much always there. And here is a quick view of, look, there's an owl pellet. There's an owl pellet, here's all her poop. There's an owl pellet, there's an owl pellet. So in these owl pellets, which I will dissect for you in the next video, probably you'll see it next week, lots of bones. So I can see that she is being so successful in helping to alleviate our little rodent problem. So this plant here is amaranth, and I'm now in the butterfly garden next to the flagpole. And this is actually a really perfect example of seed dispersal by a bird. So there's not a bird here now, but there also was an amaranth here ever planted in this spot. The amaranth was actually planted through the little archway and the mound is what we call that mound area. Now, how did it get here? Well, a bird must have eaten the seeds and this will turn into seeds. This is actually gonna get really big and really funky and then it'll turn into seeds after it gets pollinated. And it must have pooped a seed right there. And here we go. 
Amaranth. So one of the ways that we attract birds to the garden is with bird baths and uh, seeds, bird seed. But I don't have any bird seed hangers right now in this garden, in the butterfly garden, but I plan to. But here we are in the mound and looks like this kind of needs to be refilled. But basically, it should fill every morning and then it'll attract the birds. One of the other main predatory birds we see, and I don't really see them in the garden, but I see them up in the sky around the school, are red-tailed hawks. They look like this. Another kind of bird we see tons of in the garden are little finches. So the little finches are primarily going to be doing the seed dispersal. So they're not really eating uh, the mice and anything. They might be eating some of the small bugs, maybe um, slugs, maybe snails. And then they're probably going to mostly do the seed dispersal. So they're going to be the ones responsible for that amaranth not being where we planted it. And then, of course, we see things like blue jays or scrub jays and crows, and those guys are going to be eating those larger bugs. And maybe not doing so much of the seed dispersal, but they're going to be doing a lot of the taking care of our slug problem. So I'll, um, just next is going to be some pictures of those kinds of birds, the crows, the scrub jays, and the blue jays, and the little finches that we see. And that is it for this video. If you could go out when it's not smoky, and see if you can find birds and based on their size or based on what they look like or based if they have talons or not, right? Big claws. Think about how they might be helping the garden and then look it up and let me know. I got home and I realized I kept saying blue jay. I meant Stellar's jay. So we're gonna just insert the next clip and the next picture is a Stellar's jay.